make sure you have a balance between the audition, the scene, and the profession. I would go to the makeup trailer, get into hair and makeup. I would make sure to say hi to everyone. Good morning, good afternoon. I would run my lines while I was in either hair or it's usually when they're doing hair because I want them to do their work too. And uh, at the time I lit a candle and then I had three candles and I usually set an intention for the day, for the scene work, for my spirit. And at the end of the day, I'll blow them out and say what I'm grateful for in that set day. What I learned on that set day. I would review as much as possible, get dressed. I like to get dressed afterwards, but you have to be careful. And then um, I would drum. If I had a drumming um, moment, I usually drummed three times the song and then would get into wardrobe and feel how that would feel and drum. And then I would wait around until they told me we're ready for you. And then I would go to set. I would go straight to the, the chair. They would put a mic on me. I'd like to do that earlier if I can. Um, because it was a very big set. There was a band, there was a family. A lot of Latinos, so it's family and like, ay, como esta one? Like, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. I'm a very bubbly person, but when I need focus, I, I'm really internal. We would run it or talk about it with the director, and then we would have fun, and then they would say thank you when they were done with me. Then I'd be done for the day. I'd go home. I would watch the sunset to recharge, because that was really necessary. Um, and then I would make sure that I'd run my lines for the next day. And then I would just make sure to take really good care of myself throughout the, the day, throughout the week. And so I was off on Saturdays to either rehearse or to film on Saturday and then be off on Sunday. Because with only a day and a half off, if you have a day and a half off, you need to make sure that you can keep going with that demanding production schedule. They gave me drumming lessons. So I had um, drumming lessons Mondays and Fridays for an hour. I showed up for myself every day. I rehearsed 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes at night, twice a day. Sometimes I rehearsed before going to my hour rehearsal with, with the productions team. Um, they also gave me a dialect coach who was amazing, Esther Corporale. And with her, um, we were able to really work on not only the sound of Suzette, but like the sound of the whole family and what, because they tour together, their accent isn't like, standard Cali like accent or this or that it is the Quintanilla accent you know and then we watched footage of Suzette where we would see her body language and where that comes out that's how her voice sounds it was a, a beautiful beautiful um, opportunity to blossom to strengthen my craft and to strengthen my own self-reliance my own like capabilities you know really really fun I think the hardest part about playing Suzette truly was the fact that I had never had a role that was more near and dear to my heart and to my, my soul. And so I had a lot of pressure to owe it and give it to not only myself as an artist in my own light, in my own way, but also to honor Selena who gives me so much. To honor Suzette who, you know, I, I lost my brother. So through them, I was able to grieve and survive and be okay and like, that was a huge thing to suddenly have this gift on my lap as a professional of what I do and to make sure that I don't have any saboteur thoughts towards it. No more pressure of like, oh, you're playing the EP. You're, play you're playing the drums for the first. I was like, I know, thank you so much. I know, thank you so much. I got this, thank you so much. Like I tried to make sure that none of that pressure was bogging me down. And if it was, I would check it and I would play the drums or I would run my lines. So I think the hardest part of oh, Suzette was definitely the pressure. Not only I put on myself with the love I have for Selena and the passion I have for their legacy, but also um, the pressure as an actor now officially leveling up in a way that the world hasn't seen me in this light before. Young and the Restless really, really gave me this, um, and they I'm sure my, my fellow soap opera actors um, don't like this, but they, they, it is a training ground. They are one of the hardest working sets. They they produce five episodes in four days. So I got to this level of seasoned, trained. I knew when to be on time. I knew I needed to be centered. I knew that 
I was going to focus more on the character breakdown, groundbreaking scenes. If I didn't have that training ground, I wouldn't have been able to learn more and be open to learning so much in Selena. So I can't wait to see what else I get taught because it's, it's, it's been, <laughs> I've been on the, the wheel. 